Hello everyone and welcome to my Periscope tonight. I am happy to join you and I am out in New York City with my best friend. We just had Ethiopian dinner. It was super delicious and as promised I am here joining you for our Peri tonight on sexual health and reproduction and this is one of my favorite topics to talk about because it is truly um, something that a lot of people take for granted. We don't talk about it often enough. And there is so much going on around sexual and reproductive health in our society these days. So tonight, you know, I'm going to go really quickly um, just because my cell phone is, is on um, a low battery. Sorry about that. Um, and I do want to get a few minutes in with the Spanish language as well. But for today, you know, what what is this topic of sexual health and reproduction? And it really relates to our attitudes and behaviors towards our health and the consequences that come from our sexual activities, right? So that includes, you know, your your sexual anatomy, your physiology, how, um, you know, what sexual behaviors you engage in, contraception, abortion, which is one of the, the really hot topics in, in our society these days, is a huge part of sexual and, and reproductive health care. You know, and then another topic that, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago was talked about a lot more was sexually transmitted uh, infections and diseases. And, and nowadays, you barely hear anyone um, talking proactively about those. But that is also part of our sexual and reproductive health care. And really, um, you know, the biggest message that I can deliver on this topic area is to really honor your health and really think about what is it that you want to have with you know happen for yourself with your body like what what do you desire for your body to feel like right and and take care of it um you know often i go into communities where women have not had reproductive health care services for years maybe decades and you know it's not due to you know, ignorance or, or anything like that, it's really because access is very difficult in some parts of the world, in some parts of, of the state, um, and in some parts of, of our own country. It's it's very difficult for women to seek out reproductive health care services, and that definitely um, is something that... Um, we all need to be aware of, we all need to be conscious of, and really honor that, you know, I, I myself am an activist. I, I, active, I, I advocate for this stuff every single day um, for women's uh, access to reproductive health care services. And I cannot even express how important it is, um, how transformational it is, and how connected it is to, to the rest of our sexuality when someone is empowered through their own health care. So really, you know, look at your, your, your sexual behaviors. Uh, look at your, will I marry you? I don't know you, uh, but thank you for asking. Um, look at, you know, how do you relate to your anatomy, to your physiology? Uh, what is going on with your reproductive system? If there's uh, a lot of pain, a lot of uh, breakdowns in your system, um, that definitely has something to do with how you're relating to your sexuality. So, you know, sit with yourself. And, and I know this week I've been talking a lot about connecting to the body. And, and really, that's the first step. That's the first step because your body is going to give you all of the messages that you need to hear. And then it is up to you to take action on those steps. So, 
Okay. Um, it is it is up to you to really take action on those steps. It is up to you to to go and schedule that doctor's appointment and have your prostate checked, right? It's up to you to go and and have that pap smear done and the breast exam and all of those other reproductive health care services that are so vital to keeping us healthy. So that is where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I promise I will do a longer uh, periscope on this topic uh, later on, maybe next week. And until then, have a passionate weekend. I will see you all tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. And the topic for then will be the last uh, topic on, you know, seeing sexuality as a whole. And it'll be sexualization, which is going to be a very, very, very intriguing topic. Because it's one of the topics that we often just like, I mean, if we don't talk about all these other things, sexualization is even less talked about because it happens through the media, yet none of us talk about it. So stay tuned tomorrow, 9 o'clock.